Turning now to a Fox 16 crime alert. A storage unit in Sherwood broken into and at least four trailers taken, leaving their owners stunned and confused. Mm -hmm. Jessica Rank joins us live from the storage unit. And Jessica, these are some pretty big items to steal. I'm wondering about security out there and how they managed to get away with it. Yeah, Donna, well, from what I can tell today, these gates right behind me stay closed for most of the day unless renters come up and put in their own four-digit code. So now the question is and still remains is how did these thieves get all four big trailers out without anyone noticing? Cliff Blassing Game drives up and down this road in Sherwood at least once a week. I live just a few blocks away. And each time, his eyes turn towards the U storage building, peeking through the metal bars at where his camping trailer sat. But Tuesday, whenever I looked, it wasn't there. Blassing Game's quick stop turned into hours with cop cars and a report filed. I pay for security and. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little upsetting that uh, don't have it. His one of at least four trailers stolen from the storage unit in the last month. It was around 12,000, maybe 13,000 um, altogether. Anna Mitchell had her camping trailer stolen along with everything inside. We had a TV in it. We had full dishes, a coffee maker. We had a crock pot. We had a skillet. And Leonard Miller now missing a Cub Scout trailer. We found out about it, about it yeah, but... About a week and a half after it happened. Miller and the others say they didn't get a call from the storage unit. Four trailers were missing and they didn't think to look into that. Mitchell says now she's questioning security and how the storage unit reacted. You're not doing anything about it. You know, they they didn't, they said sorry and that was about all they did. And as far as insurance coverage. I was told they have none. All three sit now with items missing. The only hope that someone will see these photos and return what was stolen. I know people are desperate and it's desperate times, but when you are helping yourself, you're hurting others. Now we still are waiting on official word from police on how the thieves were able to get inside this storage unit, but we do know that at least three vehicles were involved. We posted the description of those on our website as well as photos of all three trailers. And we have reached out to the storage company for comment and have not heard back. That's the very latest out here in Sherwood. I'm Jessica Rank for Fox 16 News.